Hey guys, this is Nooch, Neighborhood Picks. Welcome to Neighborhood Picks. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to help our channel go where it needs to go. <coughs> Going on the road to the thousand. We're halfway there with the subscribers and we're in the fourth quarter with the hours. So to those who are subscribed, I really thank you for your loyalty and watching and it's been a lot of fun. So it's Wacky Wednesday, the waiver wire. I just wanted to go over a few things. Um, the waiver wire is very tough, and in every league, they're different. And the running backs just seem really murky. Guys, if, if you lose a running back, it's easier to pencil a Band-Aid in for him than it is to, for a big-time receiver, I feel. I feel like it's a receiver's league. We don't even know, outside of a couple guys, which running backs are going to really produce. So all these teams with good records, first of all, in fantasy, patience is a virtue. I was so in a panic, and I did, a, I did the stupidest move ever. I dropped Melvin Gordon on Friday, keeping Javante. Javante tears his ACL. I lose them both. But I'm thinking, how long am I going to hang on to Melvin, Melvin one-trick pony Gordon anyway? Maybe I don't even want them. There's outside of the box ways to think. Do we really want to go crazy with the fab and waiver wire on Melvin Gordon? 13 carries, 48 yards, you know, 12 carries, 56 yards, touchdown dependent, never catches a ball. Russ, Denver scored 43 points total in their first three games. Then Vegas had the nerve to make them a favorite against the Raiders. They lost. So now that's after four weeks, they, um, they stunk for three with a favorite and lost. And now they're the favorite again Thursday night against Indianapolis. I don't know. But, um, man, look, here's the running back leaders. Saquon Barkley, this is for the season. Saquon Barkley, fantasy, 86 points. Nick Chubb, that's the one, that's the one that hurt us all. Don't lie. Nick Chubb was on everybody's comeback. But for some reason, he went from, like, Top 10 to like 26 in the ADPs by all you fucking experts. The field Yateses. I should have never listened to you assholes. Nick Chubb is a prime time back wherever he goes. He's a star. I could have just took my receiver like I do, my Jefferson or my cup or my digs, depending on the league. Come back, Nick Chubb. I'd be sitting so pretty right now, but I didn't, so that's that. Saquon Barkley. Okay, we kind of exp I expected him. Because I, I reported from Giants training camp, if you saw my shows in August. So Saquon, Nick Chubb is two, Eckler's three, okay. Edward Hilaire is fourth in all the running backs. He wasn't no first round, second round pick. Jamal Williams is fifth. McCaffrey, sixth, okay. Jacobs is seventh. Nobody had him quick. Henry's eighth, because he's a one-trick pony. He doesn't catch anything. Miles Sanders is ninth. Nice back. Aaron Jones is tenth. Then you got James Robinson, Cordell Patterson. You see what I'm saying? When I first started fantasy, the first 10 picks were running backs. And that was the meat and potatoes of your team. It's not about that anymore. I'm not, you know what? It's not so bad that I lost Javante Williams. Better him than Diggs. I mean, I'll give you an example. I got, I'm fucked up at running backs. But I got Lamar Jackson. I got A.J. Dillon at one running back. Diggs and Higgins and Goddard. Godwin in the flex, Duvernay in the flex, and Bateman's hurt and Lamar's on the Duvernay. So not so bad. Eagles defense, Tucker kicker. But I'm short a running back. Right now, I got sexy Rexy Burkhead in my other running back slot. But I'm thinking about it. Does it really matter? Does it really matter? Everybody has a slot every week where it's just you get a shit, you get a dud. And sometimes names are just names, and we look too much at that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to look for an example of how you can't look ahead and just assume. Okay, my team. Let's see if there's somebody with a shitty name that beats somebody with a real good name. Okay, here we go. Let me look. Let me look. Okay. Um. Well, that week I lost, so it would be nobody. I'm trying to find an example for you guys. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. In my flex a few weeks ago, my rationale was high floor. I just wanted a high floor for this guy. In my flex, I'm playing against P. Riz. He beat me anyway. But in my flex that day, lined up, I put Jacoby Myers in there. Because I knew he'd get his five from 56, high floor. 
he had a dominant receiver, A.J. Brown, in there. We all know who's better. It's A.J. Brown. We know that. But that day, Myers gave me an 18.50, and Brown gave him an 11.90. So, like, what's my point? My point is, now, we go into week five. Am I nervous? Hell yeah, I'm nervous. But I got Herbert. I still got Cup. I got Godwin back on the field. Now, I got, like, Curtis Samuel. He's got Jerry Judy. Judy's the bigger name, but Curtis Samuel's producing. Corey Davis from the Jets. Uh, he's producing a little bit. Um, Dallas Goddard, 10. He's got Conklin for the Jets, 5. But, I mean, you know, Jamar Chase. Here's, a, here's an example. Jamar Chase is a, a hit and miss, a hit and miss. It seems like when Jamar has a big game, T. Higgins does it, and then they alternate. Has anybody noticed that? So I'm going against Chase this week. Chase is projected to get a 17. I got I got Corey Davis in there with 11. But I wouldn't be surprised if Corey Davis outproduces Chase. So in fantasy, what I'm telling you guys is patience is a virtue. There's a lot of guys available. Available in my leagues. You got not a lot of backs. The backs are tricky. What do we got? Henderson, Mark Ingram, the checkdown gobbler, J.D. McKissick, Boone. Are you going to go with Gordon and Boone just because a guy got hurt? Denver's offense is anemic. So is that the way to go? Receivers in my league, you got a lot of guys out here. Robert Woods, Allen Robinson. Somebody gave up on Allen Robinson. Can't really blame him. You got receivers out there. Darnell Mooney disappeared a couple weeks ago with a goose egg, so he's out there. So you got receiver names out there. But it's actually, it's actually harder to fill the running back spot. It's hard to fill those running backs. And flexes, if you got a double flex league, unless you got a really good back that does the, that catches and runs, I would probably just go straight receiver. That's how it feels. The, the league is becoming a wide receivers league. Um, you're seeing it. Um, when, you, when you look at the leaders, I mean, Jesus, look at the leaders. Justin, this is last week, Justin Jefferson, 31. Let's look at last week, Justin Jefferson, 31. Mike Evans, 30. T. Higgins, 27. Cooper Cup, 27. Hill, 26. Debo, 25. Metcalf, 22. CD, 22. Now, running backs. Josh Jacobs, out of nowhere. Miles Sanders, pretty good. Penny, out of nowhere. Pierce, coming on. McCaffrey, okay. Jamal Williams, look what's happening. Henry, like... You got guys flip-flopping. The receivers, I feel like the best receivers are the ones that produce most of the time. The running backs flip-flop. So I'm a little nervous with that. I like having the solid quarterback, and I like having one of the best receivers. So in my leagues, I'm 1-3, 1-3, and 3-1. Three, and three, and three and That's okay. Um, I got Jefferson in one league as my guy, Cup as my guy, and Diggs as my guy. My quarterbacks are Lamar and Herbert. So even so, I'm going to stay patient because Tua just got hurt. Waddle owners, Hill owners, beware. You're not going to be on your high horse in a couple weeks. Um, Cordell Patterson, the ultimate weapon, he just got hurt. Guys are going to get hurt. The reason I started slow is Godwin hasn't been on the field yet. I got high hopes for Godwin. My team's not built for September. I got Elijah Mitchell hanging in there, so there's a lot to go on still. Um, Gerald Everett, but coming on, if he's out on any waiver wire, grab him. You could go double tight. If you got like a Kelsey and an Everett, you could put Everett in a flex. Keenan Allen, nowhere to be found, not there yet. Robert Woods, just because Traylon Burks went down, is he going to suddenly become good? Don't fall into the Allen Robinson trick. I don't think so. I like Corey Davis better. Uh, Algier, the running back, because Cordell went down, you're just going to go on somebody? Good luck. That's a crapshoot. Uh, Jacoby Myers, I went and grabbed him again. I dropped him and I re-grabbed him because he's he's five for 60 every game. He's a, he's a, low, he's a high floor. So um, this is just a little Wednesday NFL talk solo style because sometimes I just like to get all my own thoughts out in one shot. And uh, have you guys watch it that way. It's kind of like different flavors, like when we're going to get ice cream. So um, this is Neighborhood Picks. Like, subscribe, share the channel. Outside of a few curses, everything's always appropriate. This is about sports, having fun, provoking thought, lifting people up. See you later.